I guess my advice to all future homeowners would be it's really important who you pick because if I had gotten it done right from the start, it would have saved me a lot of time and expenses. Have you ever wondered to what extent homeowners will go to to achieve their dream home? This unit was freshly renovated two years ago, but the initial results was less than satisfying. But MSS came through with their magical touch and achieved exactly what the homeowners asked for. Let's find out more! So today we have designer Kylie and homeowner Eileen here with us to share more about this gorgeous home. Maybe you can share with us more about the theme of the home. Okay, so basically uh, Eileen came to MSS with a design brief where she wanted a very art deco home. She was very inspired by the Great Gatsby, you know, New York City, Chrysler. She wanted it to be very glam and also modern arts at the same time. So by actually studying, uh, studying what she wanted, we actually came up with this beautiful like colour palette and this beautiful scheme. So Liz, actually when I first decided to redo my home, so yes, this is the second renovation, I'll tell you more about it uh, as to why. Um, but I didn't know that the style I wanted was actually Art Deco. Um, what I did was in my overseas travels, right, I picked up pieces of, you know, be it paintings or certain items that I think I would like in my future home without giving much thought about what it is. So as I pieced it together, I realised that what I actually like would be like a boutique hotel style but with the Art Deco slant. So when I got to know Kylie, that was kind of like what I told her I wanted but she had a very challenging time because she had to work with my actual art pieces and some of the furniture I already bought. So, Eileen, how do you manage to find Mr. Shopper Studio? Okay, so, so Liz is actually quite um, random because I already got my renovation done at that point of time after I collected the keys to the, uh, to the apartment, right? So what happened was, even though I was quite unhappy with the renovation, but I wasn't giving it a lot of thought until I visited one of my neighbor's homes who had gone to Mr. Shopper Studio and I was so amazed by what you guys did with her home because it helped me to see the possibility of, you know, what I can do with mine. Yeah, and, and that kind of like made me think about what if I did a second renovation to sort of undo the damage from the first. Yeah. I'm so glad, I'm so glad you came to Mr. Shopper Studio because I think the end effect of this space is gorgeous. Oh, they, really they did a great job and I have to thank Kylie. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so how has your experience been so far? Okay, so um, it has been largely fast free. Um, I think Kylie and her team did a, really a great job. And um, I mean, I'm really not saying it because she's here, but <laughs> no, seriously, guys, if you have seen the before and after photos, right, you will be blown away because the after looks so different from the first. So I'll tell you the story. Um, when I collected the keys, I obviously went looking for someone that can help me with the ID, right? But I didn't think um, very much. So I went with the recommendation from a friend. So um, he basically is what I call a glorified contractor. Um, I don't think there was any styling involved at all. And because as a first time homeowner, I didn't really know what I, I needed to know or not know, right? Or what I needed to communicate across. So what I did was I just, um, you know, look for photos on Pinterest, um, things that I like, things that I didn't like, and then I just sent send photos to the ID to hopefully, you know, give him you. Yeah, give him an idea of, of the design direction. I mean, at that point of time, I didn't call it design direction because I had no idea of, about any of this vocabulary, right? So, um, he gave me a few suggestions. So actually, this home, if you look behind me, um, it's actually what we call a flexi unit, which means that the, the home can be like a, a dual key configuration. So there was literally a wall down the center of the home. When um, after you walk in through the main door, you see two side doors that lead to a different part of the home. Yeah, so initially when I got my keys, I wanted to keep the wall because I wasn't sure if I wanted to rent or to stay in it fully. So the previous ID gave me the very odd suggestion, which I thought was a good idea at a point of time, which is actually to use the, the dual key unit as my master bedroom, and then to um, combine the original master bedroom with the living space to make a much bigger living space. So at that point of time, I thought it was a good idea. So that was what I did. But after living in it for about a year and a half, I realized that um, it's actually a very silly, um, way to, to live in the home because I end up using the smaller bathroom all the time instead of the larger one. 
Yeah, so when I spoke to uh, Mr. Shopper Studio, um, they actually shared that they would have advised me to, you know, use the main master bedroom as the main master bedroom. But if I really didn't want to take down the wall, then maybe don't take it down. And I can still have the option to take it down in future, but not to alter the, the way I, I use the home, right? Yeah, so um, I guess my advice to all future homeowners would be, it's really important who you pick. Because if I had gotten it done right from the start, it would have saved me a lot of time and expenses. So Kylie, as the designer of this project, share more about your experience. My experience here has been great really. I mean, Eileen was just such a very easy going home owner to actually discuss the entire like design process uh, with. Uh, she knew what she wanted, but she just didn't know how to exactly achieve it. So especially like with all the existing you know, pieces that she had, you know, stuff that she had collected as she mentioned before, um, we had to work around with that. And her being such a colourful person as you can but, see, yeah. and myself, you know, like it was, it, like, she was obviously a very dream client. For me, you know, and we we, we, we love the same thing. Aww. Like we all dream of having <laughs> Yeah. Things. We like we love we love colour, we love pattern and she didn't allow me to hold back. And I think that was uh one of the adventurous things about going through the whole process and I had a lot of fun. I'm sure she did as well. Yeah at, at one point oh. of time <laughs> Kylie was googling like art deco maximalist. I was like what's maximalist? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, it, it, I had to teach her along the way, mm. and I think she enjoyed it. And you know, I opened up, you know, a lot of doors, uh, you know, to actually uh, seeing like new design creation stuff like that. And yeah, I mean, this whole apartment, I think, screams her, which is exactly what yes. she wanted. Yes. And I'm finally glad she can have the home she Yay. always wanted. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. This space to like realize the full design potential that's available within this yeah. space. Itself. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll share a little more actually. So, <laughs> as the inspiration comes, right? Yeah, so first of all, as you guys can see, this apartment is actually not very big. Um, it's only got one bedroom, two bathrooms. And initially when I mentioned to some of my friends that, you know, I wanted to do like a place with a lot of mirrors and gold, they were concerned that, you know, um, they're trying to squeeze a lot of mirror and colourful things into yeah. a very small space, right? So your designer needs to really be able to put it all together. Mm. Yeah, because um, in a way, you can overwhelm a very small space with too much if you are not selective about what you put in there. Mm, exactly. Yeah, so even though um, I was a bit apprehensive initially because um, you guys kept the top half of the apartment quite mm. light um, and I thought that there wouldn't be you know, enough detail. Yeah, but I think I'm very pleased with the final product. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you can bring us to a quick tour around this home? Sure, of course, I would love to. Okay, so this area uh, used to be, you know, this bunch of like boring old cabinets that uh, the developer once provided. So I had to make it more interesting. So, you know, in, in line with the modern nuts, we wanted to play with like black, gold and mirror. And we've done so by actually giving her like a proper bar area because she also had like some liquor to store. And we've given her like more storage here for, you know, her bunch of shoes and bags. And the old kitchenette that was in the old bathroom, what we did was we gave her like a small little kitchenette area inside here and put the old microwave here, yeah. which is directly next to the kitchen. So it actually makes more sense based on, you know, transitioning from here to here if she's like, you know, cooking or anything like that. And we've got all these like little trinkets of accessories just to really like, you know, make this like a really uh, feature panel here. Mm. Yeah. It really gives this entrance area like a massive wall factor. It's very dramatic, it has a flare to it. Yeah, and the lighting also helps a lot. Like we did the LEDs like behind the clear glass, and you can just see how the light really just you know LED plays around the, the field, yeah, yeah it plays mm -hmm. around the mirror and just makes the space even look larger than it actually is. Okay, so so Liz, I have to talk to you about this area. I actually really love this area. So you know, um, in those Manhattan hotels, yeah. right, that actually I drew inspiration from for Art Deco, they always have this very pretty mantelpiece area, and I never thought like my home could have this because I've always felt that it's for a larger home. And what Kylie did was, because I have this um, gift, um, this, this piece of artwork that was a gift to me, I wanted it to go in the home, but it's not a very art deco piece, it's a bit pop art. So what she did was, she made it come together because she helped me procure some of these very lovely items that sort of fit the theme, which I also love. So 
there you go, I actually have like a little mental piece of my own and what I love as well because I told her that I had the problem of um, needing extra seats, right, for times when I do have friends that come around. So she found these little very pretty stools for me and you know, it goes in so nicely into it's this like... Yeah, yeah, it fits into the curvature of the like piece. Exactly, so it's like I don't even have to think about, hey, where am I going to store these extra stools because it comes together and it doesn't look out of place. The fringing is so can can, like can can, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, I love it. So it's like, so it's it's, it's got the, the the somewhat classy Art Deco theme that I wanted, but yet it has a bit of the colorful and quirkiness part of my personality in it as well. So yeah, I think it came together very well. For the dining area, I have to give props to my designer because she actually reused my not very Art Deco um, wooden table. Um, and she managed to to you know work it together with all the other pieces so that you know this this area really doesn't look out of place. Some of the wooden pieces of furniture she had, uh, we wanted to to still complement the art deco theme. Mm -hmm. So we chosen you know much more vibrant and contrasting uh, furniture to go with the dining table. So at least it's not so like in your face. It's not a very overwhelming palette. You know, to make this face look even bigger, you know, we did this whole wall of mirror and we even continued the lattice design from the bar area into uh, the dining. So there's no disjointment. It still feels like one whole big open space. Actually, in terms of attention to detail, right? Like I think um, Kylie sort of captured the, the colour palette that I really wanted because if I don't know if you remember this actually <laughs> when I met you I think for the first or second time I mentioned that I wanted this um, blush pink and emerald Tiffany. green and Tiffany blue I think I think I ditched the Tiffany blue at some point <laughs> <laughs> but I, I thought that you know pink and green the right yeah. shade it will go very well together right which is what why we ended up with this um, Art Deco design wallpaper but actually, when I take a step back and I look at this entire setting, I realise that, you know, in terms of like the colour of the chairs and even the napkins, it, it sort of really fits into this pink and green yes. combi, which I didn't really realise till, you know, I, I see the whole thing come together. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I really mean it. Like, don't you think it's pretty amazing? It is, it is, it is. It is. Right? I would never like, have thought like this chair with this table right, would fit in an art deco setting. Yeah, so yes. initially I thought that, oh my, I'll have to ditch the table. And this table is... It isn't a Taobao table, mm. like I spent quite a bit on yeah. it. So I was like, oh no, like I was even thinking in my mind, right? Like who, like should I pass it to my mom? <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. or... Everything else, right, has so much attention in the art deco style to it, right? This one just fits into the background and it yeah. works very nicely as a, like, a company factor. Mm. Like you don't yeah. even notice the table anymore. Yeah, yeah, right, actually right. that's true. It disappears. All right. So okay, I love this cozy and fun living room area that you have here. Can you share with me more about this? Yeah, so um, the sideboard here also Eileen's existing. So is the sofa. So as you can see, still very neutral. So in order to in order to actually make uh, the whole color theme work, we drew colors from the dining area. So from the red lady painting and from the emerald green uh, dining bench, and we applied it onto the cushions mm. here. Even though uh, again, right, just like with a few of the other pieces, like the sofa is not really an Art Deco piece, but I really want to keep it because I already spent on it. So this is another brilliant way how she managed to help me in a way not have to get not have to get a new set. Of furniture but to reuse what I have and then you know somehow to still make it come together and look like it doesn't fall out of place. Mm. I think the idea of having a console at the back is great because like you get to save on the space you don't need a massive coffee table right here mm. so if you in any, any, any case you want to like put your glasses or anything like that you can just reach back and then put it at the back. Yeah, so I've had a few friends come over already and I noticed that you know their eyes would like dart everywhere to like all the details right mm. So like, it, it's, it's quite fun lah because I, I like to keep the place quite intriguing as well. So it's like, you come in, you get this somewhat classy feel, but then it's like, hey, this is interesting. There's something quirky going on here. There's something colourful going on in that corner. So, you know, it's it's like, it, it gives you like a fresh feeling. Like you don't know what to expect when you turn the corner. That full on sensory uh, play. Over yeah, there. have you seen the pink feathers? My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, we continued this like wallpaper, like half height along the whole house. We've actually hidden the bedroom door oh, behind this wall. Yeah. Ooh, come ah. in. <laughs> so this is what I call my nighttime, you know, part of the house. Whereas outside is like the daytime part of the house. 
So I love that you can actually um, you know feel and see the transition as you move from day to night, right? It's a very obvious change in energy. And this actually has become like a little like sanctuary. Yeah. Uh, you know the lighting here really plays a huge part. It really does like wind down this space into uh, you know into a very tranquil space. And as you can see, we've taken like the indigo and the navy blue from the outside and brought it in. Most importantly, we were also inspired by her artwork here. Mm. So by actually taking you know colors from my artwork here, we've actually applied it onto the decorative accessories. And thankfully, Eileen's bed was also the same color, <laughs> yeah. so it was also easy to match. So the next thing was to actually tie it all together with an art deco wallpaper. As you can see, we got this beautiful mm. like geometric pin with you know the gold touches the here. Gold, yeah, yeah, which works super well. Mm. And I also love to play more print, and hence we've got the you know the zebra height on the floor here. So now let us explore my favorite part of the home actually. <laughs> Welcome to Mini Manhattan. <laughs> so um, over here we also wanted the bathroom to be a part of the master bedroom space. So by actually bringing the same colors in here, we've gotten these you know beautiful subway towels. Um, they kind of have this like green, green or blue, we're not quite Aquamarine. sure. Yeah, yeah, aquamarine, yeah, that's yeah. right. Exactly. Uh, and we've also tied in the black and white on the floor just so it's not so uh, dark. It does actually lift the colour a little bit more. And with the gold touches, you know, that kind of gives an even more like New York mm. Manhattan vibe, which is absolutely yeah. lovely. With the crystal bits as well. Um, yeah. So we applied the same on the sanitary fittings as well. And even on you know, some of the shelves at the same time. Yeah, so I see myself spending a lot of time in here. <laughs> I mean, we excited to start your day. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Like, you know, like some candles. Uh, I mean, we wanted to give you uh, a mega glam room. Mm. You know, very Moulin Rouge. Yeah, and, I love and it. And with this kind of palette and this kind of, you know, lighting involved, yeah. we've definitely, you know, given that to you. And I'm so excited. So thanks for the interesting and super eye opening home tour. So okay, now we gotta talk about numbers. What was the exact price tag they spent on to achieve this dream home? Okay, so maybe I'll start by sharing with you how much I spent in the previous first time renovation, which honestly, I think it was like 20% of the work done here. Um, it was actually pretty overpriced. I paid 30,000 for that. Um, I stayed in that home for a year and a half and then you know I got to know you guys so decided to redo the place so the bill for this one came up to I think about maybe 50 plus to 60 if I don't add in the furniture and the furnishings everything all in would come up to maybe in the range of about 80 but there's no price tag to achieve your dream home <laughs> to the camera yeah. Eileen thanks for having me in your home today I had a great time you're welcome Oh,